All right, folks. Starting off with this brand new toy unboxing with J&J Toy Giants is going to be none other than the leader of Dimension X, and that is Krang. And this is part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles OG line that was released back in the 80s, but is now re-released that you now get at Walmart. And it is uh, from Playmate, so it's still the same company that initially released this figure back in the day. Uh, of course, it has the Nickelodeon um, logo on it because Nickelodeon owns the rights to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles currently. Um, I believe the comics, who, who was the, uh, I think Playmates had the uh, original um, rights to it as far as like both the figures and the IP as far as like for cartoons and such, but that had since changed. And we're also going to be unboxing Tonight I Dine on Turtle Soup. The leader of the Foot Clan, none other than Oroku Saki himself. The bad guy leader, as you can see on the back of the box or back of the card. Shredder, the arch nemesis of Hamato Yoshi and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Again, this is the re-release of the Shredder from Playmates of the OG uh, release that was sent out or made back in the, the 80s. So we're going to unbox both of these figures and we're going to do like we always do. We're going to let them breathe. All right. So I wanted to do something a little different as far as like going over the figures one by one like I normally do. But uh, given the nature of the, these particular figures, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about them all at once. Have them both in the shot. Um, so uh, where do I begin? Uh, so... Naturally, for those who have grown up with this particular toy line, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and have a special bond with it in and of itself because a lot of us had these toys. May have not had all the uh, figures, you know, um, as, you know, when we're kids, not all of us have that mentality of, Oh, I got to collect these. I got I to collect them and have them as a collection because I'm going to have them forever. A lot of us are like, oh, yeah, I want the toys and we play with them. And then, boom, something comes along. That's you keep find a little bit better. Like uh, right after the Turtle Mania became Power Ranger Mania. And there was kind of like a, um, a competition between both the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers or I guess you should call Super Sentai because Super Sentai has been around for a very, very, very long time. Um, but they, we just didn't know about them till Power Rangers came along. So um, I believe the, the Turtles figures came out in 87. If I'm, my history is correct. And one of the things also that uh, when I grew up, I actually had Shredder and I think I had, um, I think I had all the Turtles. Uh, but then I lost Donatello and I lost um, and then I lost Michelangelo and all I had were just uh, Leonardo and Raph. Raph is my favorite one so naturally I would have always uh, kept him but I also did have the Shredder um, but I never had Crank for whatever reason I just never got him um, either he was just never available around the toy stores where I was at or just never got a chance to buy him but I'm glad to have them now in my collection now. Um, and it was rare because these came out, but then when the, when the cartoon came out, um, Playmates, um, to my uh, recollection, never had the Krang with his body. It wasn't until 1994 that the actual uh, figure came out with Krang inside his body, but the Krang was a lot smaller because the figures for whatever reasons on playmates i don't know if this is something that was like a big issue with them or if they even took that into account um of the scaling you know naturally because krang in the series is an alien and he started off with just like you know something like this where it was just like a little mechanical walker he built himself a body or at least uh, shredder helped him build himself a body and that's basically how we knew him from then. You're gonna have to conquer us first! That should be fairly easy! The molecular amplification circuit works! 
um, when the figure was actually made when it came out in '94, or like that, I think that was the the year that that figure came out uh, in '94 with Krang and his body. His, his, Krang was a lot smaller because it was inside the body, and I've never had the figure, so I don't know if you could actually take Krang outside of his little, um, you know, compartment inside the the alien body or the robotic body that he used. So I can't really tell for sure. But this is the what the picture looked like here. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, it, at this point in time, it really doesn't matter. I'm actually hoping that they actually release the re-release because these are all re-releases. These are not the originals. Um, all the ones that I have, with the exception of like the uh, the other turtle uh, figures like the, you know, Donatello, Donatello with the basketball player and Leonardo as the football player or the shot put um guy there are all those are the original ones which don't have any of the uh weapons and stuff like that but all the stuff that i've purchased so like for instance i'm going to use this hopefully i don't knock anything down so all this right here these are all re-releases that i've purchased uh throughout the years when i found out that playmates were re-releasing these particular figures so um i have not seen any of the ones that are re-released that have krang and <laughs> I tell you, it never fails, ladies and gentlemen. It never fails. Generally, I, I guess it's part of my shtick nowadays. It's like I can't, for whatever reason, I don't know, it's just because it's me, because I'm so clumsy. Probably that's probably what it was, but um, never fails. A lot of times, whenever I'm filming or anything like that, some of the figures just drop. Um, <laughs> um I guess it's kind of weird if you guys watch some of my unboxings and they and they don't fall. Um, you know what I mean? So what I was saying was is that um oh man, I lost my train of thought. But essentially the posability was one of my gripes as a kid, even to this day. Uh, you know, case in point, the shredder. Um initially when these were made, you know, they were kind of taking the drawings that Kevin Easton Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird um, used from the comics that were being that was made prior to these toys, uh, you know, being developed. And so essentially they had to kind of like not make them as menacing looking from the comics. And, you know, they had to be kind of dumbed down. Essentially, I hate to use that word, but essentially they had to be scaled down to a point where companies like Playmates were going to want to make these toys for kids. And naturally, when they made the cartoon, which was after the toys were already made, they even looked they looked even more more different, essentially, because they had to make it so that the cartoons, they had a lot more, uh, you know, uh, standards and practices where they had to kind of make them not as menacing. So with the shredder, obviously, just like the turtles, they come with all these weapons. I tried to put the uh, katana in shredder's hand. That wasn't going to fly. Um, so, but I mean, I, when I had Shredder, uh, initially when I was a kid, I don't think I ever had this much of an issue trying to stand him up. Um, but you know, I, I digress essentially with these particular figures up uh, with the exception of the movie figure that I, I did, which I did on a who's Lucy, check that out of the, um, uh, teenage mutant Ninja Turtles secret of the ooze movie figure. Of Shredder, he's a little bit better to stand up than this one. But you know, it, it's you, this is all just sentimental value. I would rather take a um, articulated figure like the you know the TMNT movie figures Shredder um, and have that more than this one. But I have these just based on you know nostalgia alone and they, they were part of my childhood i like to just take a look at these and I've, I've actually said this before on other videos you know like i don't play with these essentially um I, I like to just walk around my displays i look at them you know i keep put them in my hand like this i'll put them in my hand i'll you know i'll look at it i'll move them around just to kind of get the feel of what was like playing with these when i was a kid and then i just put them back other people have their own you know things that they they never touch them ever again and they just it's just there um or you know other guys will play with them and you know 
kind of brings them back to their youth. But everybody has their own thing that they do with their uh, their figures. Um, but where was I going with this? Oh, so with the shredder, I mean, he does have a lot of articulation in the arms where like it goes up and down, up and down. The elbows don't bend. The the wrists turn though, so that's good. But that's about it. I mean, his his legs, you can see the way it's molded. It doesn't give you a lot of ways to kind of pose him. Um, so I'm gonna have to try to find or see if I can find people who know a lot better than I would how to if he has any stands that would be better for him. With Krang, uh, the same thing. His articulation is only based on the robotic suit that he's in. And the I don't know why this is like that. For whatever reason, the gun just bent like that. I don't know. It's just because of the plastic. But, you know, I'm going to hopefully find if I can find the original one, then I'll, I'll buy the original one. I'm sure that's probably going to be the uh, very, very expensive if I can find a good deal. But hopefully uh, Playmates does re-release these particular figures so that, you know, it's going to be easier for collectors like myself. I don't care if I have the original or not. I really don't. Uh, as long as I have a figure and the figure is um, you know, it looks exactly like the original. I don't care if it's a re-release or not. Like, heck, that's the reason why I bought the bootlegs. If you, I'm not sure exactly when the, this video is coming out. Um, but, you know, whenever I put this out, I mean, that I bought the bootlegs just because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to see what they look like. They weren't a lot of money. I had a freak a credit on Timu. So I was like, why not? You know what I mean? And I got, I bought the bootlegs that were looking like the, uh, the, the Nickelodeon versions that came out in 2012. They look exactly like the ones that came out in 2012. So why not? Um, that's my little, you know, gripe, uh, my little tangent that I went on. Um, but I like this, uh, thing. I actually got these off of the heroes hideout, a uh, little comic-con thing that they were having there was this i forget what the net guy's name was um that was selling these toys but i bought it off of a vendor at the heroes hideout uh store that ended up closing down in colony center if you guys are in the capital district you'll know what the colony center is now they have only one um location and that's in uh crossgates mall which is actually closer than it was to me where i live uh than it is club colony center not that closer but um i digress so i was glad that i was able to get them i mean there were secondary pricing um i had missed up missed out on this when they came out initially for the re-releases so um but not too bad i think i paid maybe let me see i think i have i still have the the cards here yeah so that paid like 18 bucks per per figure so it wasn't that bad um and i was just uh using some some gift cards that I had gotten, uh, you know, Walmart, not Walmart gift cards, but um, MasterCard or Visa gift cards that I gotten for like gifts and stuff like that. So it really didn't cost me anything. Um, and I'm not afraid to say how much I got them for. It doesn't really matter. You got them for what you got them for. If you got, if you had to pay a little bit more, then, you know, it's going to be even more of a figure that you want to keep and make sure that it's taken care of because you paid a lot of money for it for whatever, you know, some uh, collectors just don't have an issue telling you how much they pay for them some people are like nah yeah i'm not telling you how much i pay for these um put down in the comment section where that's like a big issue for you whether you if you'll tell people like oh i bought it for x amount you know especially if they're actually already out like they're still currently out naturally you'll know somebody already knows how much these cost so you don't really have to say uh but these retro stuff if they're actually like the originals um they can get pretty pricey you know what i mean but yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad I was able to actually get this unboxing done. I was, this is a kind of like been since Christmas. Um, no, I think even before Christmas. Um, no, 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 no. It was around Christmas time that I got these at the uh, Comic Con. So I'm glad I was able to do the unboxings. Hope you guys found this a little bit entertaining. I went off on a little bit of a tangent on this video. So I apologize. But leave in the comment section if you guys have a big issue telling people how much you spent on figures. Uh, especially your <laughs> significant other or your your spouses because i know you never want to tell them the rope the rope price if you bought them for a lot but um yeah so thanks so very much guys 
Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on Instagram, also on YouTube, Patreon, X or Twitter and Facebook and also follow us on TikTok and also follow us on Twitch. Thanks so very much, guys. You guys have a great day. Keep on cruising.